Nestled in the Ozark foothills is Batesville, the second oldest town in Arkansas. This community plays host to some of the most beautiful scenery the natural state has to offer. One of Batesville's true gems is right down the road. We have setting here in the foothills of the Ozark Mountains, a world-class chemical production facility, and a group of people that have been very successful competing against the best in the world and winning. Since the acquisition by Future Fuel Corp, this group of people has been successful in growing the business from $150 million in 2006 to in excess of $219 million in 2010. We've been successful at producing biodiesel with excellent properties and especially wintertime properties. We've started up many new chemical processes during that time frame and just recently started a production facility for anode material used in lithium ion batteries for automobiles. Eastman Kodak built the plant in the mid 70s and now has been transformed into Future Fuel Chemical Company for specialized chemical production. As its name indicates, Future Fuel is dedicated to producing quality renewable fuels, namely biodiesel. Biodiesel, for those who don't know what it is, it's a renewable fuel made from fats and oils, converted into a diesel equivalent to be used in diesel engines without any modifications. Future Fuel's biodiesel business covers the broad spectrum of the industry. We not only make the product here, but we also market it in various uh, market segments. We um, deliver it by truck. We have the capability of delivering it by rail. We even have facilities in North Little Rock that would allow us to ship it down to Little Rock, put it on barges, put it on the waterway, and send it out. As we grew this business, we quickly outstripped the smaller tanks that we had allocated for this business. Um, most of them in the order of 50,000 gallons. Since then, we've added a very large 4.4 million gallon st storage tanks to be able to bring in raw materials as well as store biodiesel. We make biodiesel and we sell it all over the country and we've sold it in 17 states and sold it into markets that went into export. But we didn't always sell it close to home. We saw an opportunity to do two things. One is to put in a retail tank so that we could make our product available to the public, allow future fuel employees to use that product, and then be able to tell uh, our new customers that we're using our product and they should feel confident using it also. That retail tank also services our truck fleet. That's where we get our fuel. We use our product. It's good stuff. So it really doesn't matter uh, whether a customer needs a custom product or whether they're wanting to buy one of our performance products, one of our own proprietary products. We're set up basically to fill customers' need. Typically what customers do uh, comes into us two different ways. One is uh, our salespeople make a direct call on these customers and visit with them face to face. Projects come in that way where customers just tell the salespeople what they need. Also, uh, we have customers that contact us through our website or just over the phone, out of the blue. And then uh, what happens when those requests are made is that uh, we uh, gather some preliminary information about the uh, opportunity and then we'll do a preliminary evaluation to see if it fits in our equipment and fits uh, within the technologies that we practice. If we think it's a fit, then uh, we'll generate an initial uh, cost estimate um, look at scheduling, how things fit into the plant, and we'll go back to the customer with a preliminary proposal. Um, if the customer thinks that's acceptable, then we'll implement a project team, and that project team will focus on taking either the customer's technology or our own technology, fitting it into our production facility, and manufacturing the product for the customer. Once an agreement has been reached, a laboratory evaluation begins. An experienced team of chemists and engineers is assembled to initiate the development cycle. Lab runs are performed and analytical methods are developed and confirmed. Our well-equipped analytical chemistry lab is fully staffed with PhD chemists who perform method development. While we use traditional wet methods, we have the capability to employ cutting-edge instrumentation such as GC and LC mass spec, ICP, XRF, and high field NMR, as well as workhorse instruments such as GC and LC. 
Customers are provided with samples to ensure satisfaction. Processes are monitored for improvements to increase yield, decrease waste, and improve efficiency during the development cycle. Development moves into the process hazard evaluation and scale-up lab to generate safety data. All final products are scanned for thermal hazards and the processes are evaluated for the reaction's thermal activity to prevent any process safety incidents. A final capital estimate is developed and our in-house environmental affairs group ensures that all state and federal permits and regulations are met. Once an agreement has been reached on project economics, the process engineering group drives the project to completion. Timelines are produced and met. During this construction phase, chemical operating procedures, equipment operating procedures, and software program development take place. The Process Safety Review Committee and the Equipment Safety Review Committee review and confirms the safety of the environment, equipment, and operators in all procedures. Once all approvals are obtained, operators are trained and production begins. The Process Engineering Group Production Technology Managers and development chemists oversee the production 24-7, ensuring smooth startups and immediate response in the case of an unexpected test result or observation. Not only does Future Fuels produce your custom chemicals, they also turn your product ideas into reality. If you don't have a process developed for your target molecule, Future Fuels staff of R&D chemists can help you realize your goals. You know, the company is, is set up uh, with three business units, the uh, biofuels unit and then the custom chemical unit. And our newest uh, business unit is a performance chemicals business unit where we develop our own technology and our own products that we offer to the, to the trade. A custom chemical is made for a specific customer. Many times it's that customer's own technology. Occasionally it's our technology but that product is owned by that customer, can only be sold to that customer. A performance chemical is something that we own the technology for, we've developed the product, we've entered the market with that product, and we sell it to multiple customers. We can sell it to anyone that, that has a need for that particular product. We like the idea of, of producing our own products, offering those to the market, and while we'll never abandon our, abandon our custom business, uh, we will uh, always want to grow the performance side of the business. Future Fuel works to make storage and shipping products quick and easy. Large volumes of materials can be stored in bulk tanks and shipped via rail car or tank truck. Intermediate volumes can be packaged in totes, bulk bags, or drums. Along with our ambient temperature warehouses, refrigerated storage units are also available. Future Fuel can supply specialized labels and packaging to products and will ship them directly from our warehouse to your customers. Logistics groups work with your carrier to deliver your products to your desired location. Customer service representatives and the quality assurance group are available to process orders, ensure on-time delivery, and guarantee accurate product specifications. If you have a chemical need, Future Fuel can meet it. If you have a chemical project, we have the technical, operational, construction, and HSE expertise to ensure a rapid, cost-effective project implementation. Give us a chance to help you be successful.